is the smell. I don't know where it's coming from. Okay, I'm going to need you to stand on the line with me. We're going to try to trace the smell. Okay. When did you first notice the smell? It was here when I bought it. It's a horrible smell. Stay calm. We've just traced the smell. The smell is coming from inside your car. Can I ask you something personal? Sure. What's that smell? Would you like us to smell your car? No? Okay. I was wondering if we could uh, smell your car. Excuse me, sir. Can we smell your car? Smell my car? It's it's nothing, uh, you know, perverse or anything. What's that smell? Right now, leftover Thai food. <laughs> Maybe a little bit Baby. of baby spit up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, dirty socks. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Can I smell your car? Sure, if you really want to. <laughs> you know that, that uh, the new car smell? Mm -hmm. Are you fans of it? Oh, yeah. What do you, what's your feeling about the new car smell? Yeah, it smells good. It smells yeah. new. It smells new. Uh, can I smell your car? Sure, you can smell my car. All right. This is an x-ray fluorescence machine, and what it does is it sends a signal into the material we're going to test, and the single signal comes back and tells us what it's made out of. <laughs> oh, yeah, what's that smell, Bill? <laughs> hmm, I'm, uh, don't tell me. Maldehyde. Toluene. Decabrominated diphenyl ether. Xylene. Hey. Terrible thing. Exactly. I, I was hoping for Taco Bell smell. Not for that. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like your door trim is 20% um, chlorine, which means it's PVC, polyvinyl chloride, which is a type of plastic. So they're going to change your hormone system a little bit. and I can't deal with that. that. Yeah, it's not pretty. Uh, this is kind of a personal question. All right. Your feelings about the new car smell. Ew. There you have it. Not yeah. like wearing a new cologne. You don't take a little dab and go, oh, no, new car smell. Not so much. Not <laughs> okay. so much. Ew. <laughs> Some people actually like that. What's that smell, Colleen? Is that I'm th I'm pizza? I don't know what. But, you know, it still smells kind of fresh. <laughs> 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 kind of new car-y. Looks like the headliner has bromine in it, which is an indication that it has brominated flame retardants, which are developmental toxins. Those are bioaccumulative toxic substance, substances that are slowly building up in our body. They're hormone disrupting chemicals and we suspect that they uh, cause cancer as well. Uh, Don't you love it when he talks chemicals? You may, it's kind of sexy. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. The car part we tested contains lead, which is an element that is known to cause brain damage to affect growth and development in children. Fatalities, yeah, well. Once I know this, what do I do about it? Next time you buy a new car, make sure you go to healthycar.org and look for which vehicles have the lowest amount of these chemicals in them. Healthycar.org. What is it again? Healthycar.org. Where should we go? Healthycar.org. All right, we're done. We're done, man. I can just go to healthycar.org. That's right, ma'am. And now with healthycar.org, you've got nothing to be afraid of. You can just look up a specific car model or even comparison shop between different models. Okay. Thank you so much. That's my job, ma'am. Thank you. It's my pleasure.